Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching Georgia Bear Reviews back at you today with another one. And I'm pretty excited about this one, guys. This is the new Founders release of KBS. It's the Cinnamon Vanilla Cocoa or Cacao flavored style. It's an imperial stout with coffee, cinnamon, vanilla extract, and cacao nibs aged in oak bourbon barrels. This bad boy clocks in at 12% alcohol by volume. I've heard amazing things about this. Of course, the original KBS is amazing. They have an espresso version. The big one that I really enjoyed, a lot of people in our little beer community, or the people that I talk to regularly about these types of things. The Mackinac Fudge was incredible. This is their newest release, their newest addition, variant of the KBS. So, a little bit, it does say 2021 release. There's a bottled on date, September 2nd, 2021. So it's really it's just over a month old as far as the bottled on date. Obviously, it's a little bit older than that because they age in bourbon barrels, but this was bottled one month and five days ago, four days ago. A little bit about this on the label. Normally don't do this, but with a beer like KBS, I think it's uh, I think it's appropriate. Let's read through the description really quick on the back of the label. It says, it says, here's one for the cacao lovers, KBS cinnamon vanilla cacao. The sumptuous deep coffee and chocolate flavors of KBS rise to the next level with a swirl of cinnamon and a hint of vanilla to create a sweet but not too sweet barrel-aged drinking experience. It's a whole new spin on KBS that's sure to sweeten your spirits. All right, let's go ahead and get into this bad boy. Obviously, 2021, this is the first year that this new release of KBS is available. I'm going to pour it in the glass. It's going to look like your standard KBS, obviously. I can already smell the cinnamon just from the pour. Very nice looking stout in the glass. You've got a finger's worth of a nice dark tan head. The appearance itself is completely opaque. Black, jet black. On the appearance, those cinnamon aromas are already coming through. It's, as I was pouring the beer, I was smelling the cinnamon. Cinnamon. Coffee. A little bit of dark chocolate, a little bit of milk chocolate, a little bit of caramel, a little bit of toffee, a little bit of oak. The vanilla is coming through, which, of course, you're getting the vanilla extract. And then a good barrel-aged beer you get vanilla from the oak. As with any good bourbon, vanilla notes are common. So you're getting a lot of vanilla. Coffee is definitely there, but it's after the cinnamon. The cinnamon is the lead aroma, then a little bit of the coffee, and then the vanilla kind of hits you on the back end. It, it's really a beautiful, complex, multifaceted aroma. It smells delightful. A little bit of head retention for a 12% ABV beer is not bad at all. I'm not going to complain about that. Mm. I haven't been disappointed with Founders. I don't suspect that I'm going to be disappointed with this beer. It smells absolutely incredible. And I like the fact that the cinnamon, the chocolate, the caramel, the toffee, the barrel, the vanilla, all of that kind of comes through. The coffee is there, but it's it's not the the lead aroma, so hopefully that the palate follows through with that. Sometimes, and I, I know I sound like a broken record, I've said this a thousand times, sometimes when you get these coffee stouts, these coffee beers, they just, coffee such a strong component, strong flavor when it's added to a beer that sometimes it's overdone and that's all you end up getting. I don't expect that to be an issue with this beer, of course. But I just wanted to point it out for all of you stout, porter, dark beer lovers. All right, I am salivating. This smells absolutely amazing. So without further ado, 
let's get into this brew. Cheers, guys. <clears throat> the cinnamon is the lead flavor note. Immediately after you get through that cinnamon, you get a little bit of caramel, a little bit of toffee, sweetness, some nice bready malt character in the middle of the sip, some nice toasted bread notes. Then you get dark chocolate. Then that vanilla extract comes through. Then you get some oakiness, some barrel-aged qualities. Maybe a little bit of vanilla from the barrel aging, but they do have vanilla extract in here, so it's hard to tell where exactly the vanilla is coming from. I think there's a complexity to the vanilla. You get the extract, and then you get a little bit of the vanilla from the oak, the barrel aging. And there's a little bit of that woodiness, that oak presence itself. There's a woodiness, a rustic type characteristic to this beer that's really nice. I feel like the oak, the, the barrel aging with this is a little bit more prevalent, a little bit more noticeable than with the standard KBS, than with the Mackinac, or the Mackinac, excuse me, the Mackinac fudge. That was just fudgy, brownie deliciousness. This one, the barrel is coming through a little bit more. I think maybe because... Once you get through the the cinnamon, there's really, obviously, you have the vanilla there, but that's a complement to the barrel aging. Of course, they add chocolate. The cacao nibs. But there's not as much chocolate in this as with some of the other variants of the KBS. The barrel, I, I, I'll say this, the, the barrel notes with the KBS... Cinnamon, vanilla, cacao are most noticeable with this variant. There's a lot of barrel punch with this. It's really, really nice. It's a little bit more boozy as well, but in a good way. If you're a bourbon barrel aged stout lover, you're going to appreciate this a little bit more because it's got more barrel presence than the other KBS variants. This is the most barrely, barrel-aged KBS. They're all barrel-aged. This is the most barrel uh, presence that I've ever had with a KBS other than, other than the 2015 KBS that I got to try uh, courtesy of Shane Fudge that was an anomaly obviously I drank that earlier this year so we're looking at six years age on that all the other stuff had faded and the barrel really shined through but as far as from a drinking it right after you buy it fresh type standpoint this is the most barrel presence that I've ever experienced with a KBS variant or any KBS so, major props for that. I was talking to Bumpy Road uh, Brewery. He's got his own channel. And he kind of mentioned how good this stout was, but it seemed to have lost some of its uh, allure, you know, because they've come out with so many over the years, and he's tried them all, as have I. But this one for me is special because the barrel presence is so noticeable with this on the back end it's warming going down it's got the oaky woodsy type notes the vanilla obviously from the vanilla extract but from the barrel itself as well and the cinnamon is such a nice a nice touch with this it's not overly done the coffee with this is fairly muted as well which is nice because if you get a fresh kbs you know like this year's version of the kbs and you drink it pretty fresh you want to age it, the coffee is pretty strong. Same with the espresso. If you're not a big coffee drinker, you may be turned off by that. With this, you can drink it fresh. The coffee is there, but it's balanced with the other flavors in the beer. So you're getting a really good, balanced drinking experience. 
So I didn't think I was going to give it this high of a rating, but I, it's only right that I call it as I see it, right? So I'm going to go with a 98 out of 100. It is in the world-class range for me. 98 to 100, world-class. Um, I think that this one would age beautifully. I would love to be able to age one of these for a couple years and see how it develops because I think that even more of the bourbon notes would come through if he aged it and, you know, some of the coffee and the cinnamon and the other additives maybe would fade a little bit more. And, you you know, as a bourbon barrel-aged stout lover, I think that it would just elevate the experience that much more. Nonetheless, a world-class, excellent, excellent beer from Founders. What else? I mean, I don't know what else to expect from them, from them other than just awesome stuff. So 98 out of 100 for the Founders. KBS 2021 release, first ever release, of the Cinnamon Vanilla Cacao. Imperial Bourbon Barrel Aged Out. That'll do it for this beer review, guys. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Sorry for the long-winded review, but beers like this sometimes need a little bit of extra care and attention, and I didn't want to rush through this. It's a wonderful beer, and I would highly recommend that you try it. It's 20 one dollar twenty ninety nine was what I paid for the four pack. Definitely worth it. I would buy it again. I probably will. So hope everybody out there is having a wonderful day. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below if you've tried this beer. I appreciate that. I always enjoy feedback from other people. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Until then, cheers everybody. <laughs>